Hi, my name is Grant Pickla, and I also played the role as cinematographer for the film Niner. Cinematography is the overall look and aesthetic of a film, and that would encompass everything from color, lighting, the contrast and shadows, camera movement, the camera height, focal length, basically everything that comes through the lens and is put on screen is done for a reason and it's the cinematographer's job to convey that reason and try to assist the storyline by utilizing the tools he has. On an average off day of shooting, I would be typically looking at the scene that's coming up I had the whole film storyboarded already, so I would look at the storyboards for that next scene that we are going to do. I'd reassess them, um, because oftentimes when you start shooting a film, your perspective on things change, so I would see if the overall look that we are going to go for is still going to be applicable. So overall, we'd work together as a unit to achieve the shots that were laid out in front of us before. Another main job of cinematographers is simply making a 2D picture, which is what everyone's television screen is, look more like something 3D. So obviously we live in a 3D world and as soon as you film it, it's compressed to just a flat screen. So it's the job of the cinematographer to not have someone with a white shirt standing in front of a white wall because they essentially blend in. So you want to have different levels of Z space, in other words, um, distances from the camera and create an overall feeling like there is a background, middle ground, and foreground, and possibly even more levels in between. A last bit of advice I'd have for anyone wanting to be a cinematographer on an independent film is seriously read up on as much as you can. Cinematography has been going on for over 100 years, and the guys in Hollywood have figured it out, and they know why the camera should move on what word is said in a sentence, and they know why the lights need to be set here or there. So on a small film, when you're controlling the lights and the camera movements and all that jazz, um, read up on it and understand the theory behind it so that way you can create your own image systems and you can say every time we show the villain we're gonna light him low and we're gonna keep the camera low or you know backlight so on. It's just important to understand the rules and then know if you should twist them or adapt them or break them or apply them so it's all it's all in how the audience perceives it in the end so You've got all the tools at your palette. It's just a matter of having a concise idea and following through. I love cinematography. I could talk about it all day.